When you're short on time or you feel overwhelmed by clutter, the best place to start is with something small. Hi, I'm Marissa from beautifullyorganized.com. Decluttering and organizing a very small space is a quick win and that motivates you to keep going. Don't underestimate the power of the quick win snowball effect. You will feel amazing. Choose one small space today that you want to tidy up right now and set a timer for 10 or 15 minutes to get it done. Here are three things you can declutter and organize in minutes. Number one, your handbag. Is your bag overflowing with receipts, wrappers, crumpled tissues and stuff that you think you need, but when you go out, you never actually use it? Now's the time to clear it out. Decluttering and organizing your handbag or wallet is a really good place to start. You'll be surprised at what you find in there if it's been a while since your last clear out. Start your timer, dump everything out onto the table or your bed or the floor, and then all you need to do is pick out the rubbish and throw it away. Pick out the things you don't use every day when you're out and about and put them away. And then put everything else back into your bag neatly and move on with your day. The second space is your spices. This one is so easy. Start your timer, take your spices out of your pantry or the drawer and put them on your counter. Next, throw away anything that has expired. Then throw away anything you haven't used in a year because you're probably not gonna use it now either. You can give it away if you don't wanna throw it away. Then you just wipe down your spice shelf or your storage container and put the rest back neatly. Number three is your bedside table. This one is quick and easy and you'll love it because it helps make your room feel like a calm haven that you can escape to. Start your timer, open your drawer and follow these steps. Pick out the rubbish and throw it away. Then take every other item out one at a time and sort as you go. Decide if it really belongs in the drawer or if it can go somewhere else. Then you're gonna wipe out the drawer and put the stuff that belongs there back neatly. And put the other stuff where it really belongs. Remember, these spaces are so quick and easy. If you get interrupted, it's no big deal to stop and come back to it. But you'll probably be done before you get interrupted by the kids or the phone or a knock at the door. When in doubt, throw it out. Rubbish, broken things, things that have expired, these are easy to throw away and they make a really big difference to how your space looks. Once that momentum gets going, you'll find it's easier to see other opportunities for decluttering in your home. Everything feels more doable once you begin. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you're ready for next steps, you might wanna check out my free online workshop, Three Quick Things to Do Today to Get Organized, even if you have kids. I'll leave a link below so you can find it easily. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You'll be surprised. <laughs> yeah, the dogs are barking. We're just gonna go with it. The script says doorbell, but I just said knock at the door because I'm crazy like that.